I know I stand in line until you think you have the time to spend an evening with me. Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me today and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about brushes because there are so many brushes out there and I'm just going to share with you some of my favourite brushes um, for watercolour and oil and acrylic. And I'm going to tell you why those ones are my favourite and how I use them and things like that. So I really hope that you enjoy this video and I would love to know what brushes are your favourite. So pop in your favourite brushes down below in the comments section and what you use them for. And then everybody can share little tips with everybody. So moving on to brushes. So this paintbrush is by Bob Ross and the code on it is R6438. I have one in this size and also I have one in a slightly smaller size and these are absolutely brilliant for putting on that first layer onto your canvas so getting paint on there and sort of mapping out where things are going to go and just to sort of tone the canvas really is the main use that I use these brushes for. So the next brush is made by Winton which is Windsor & Newton and it's a size 10 in filbert shape. I really love this paintbrush because the bristles are fairly stiff so it's quite good at getting paint onto the canvas and I use this to map out my canvas where, for instance in this case, uh, where my flowers are going to go, um, not adding too much detail but just sort of deciding where things are going to go with it. So this one is a Terry Harrison Golden Foliage and this one I come back to all the time because it's one of my absolute favourites. Again, the bristles are quite stiff and I use this again for mapping out but in a little bit more detail this time. This one is a Floral Bright Bob Ross and the code is R6325 and a half size. This one, the bristles are a little bit softer this time and I use this to start adding a little bit more dimension into my painting and sort of building up the layers now and deciding where I want certain petals or leaves etc. This one is a Pro Art Proline Plus and it's in three quarter size. So this one is very similar to the last one except for I use this one for oil painting, hence why the bristles are a little bit stiff than normal. So the next brushes are fan brushes and these are again by Bob Ross and these are called the fan blenders. So here is two sizes, this one is a size 6 and then I also have the size 3 which is a little bit smaller. So these are just really really great for long straight brush strokes and cut into objects with them and you can also use them as a horizontal stroke so you've got a nice wide stroke there and they're really good for building up foliage. So this brush is an acrylic sea white brush in size 10 and this one was actually discovered through the scroller box video that I uploaded fairly recently and this is just a pretty good all round brush just suitable for lots of different brush strokes and lots of different uses. <sighs> So this is a hake brush by Pro Art and it's in the medium size and these bristles are so so soft and I really love this brush because it's just so great for blending and it just takes off those harsh lines and just blends it so it's seamless. So this brush is Sceptre Gold 2 by Windsor & Newton and it's a 101 sable and this is what I use for signing paintings. So moving on to the watercolour brushes, this is a Cirrus 330 Rigger Kalinsky Sable by Windsor & Newton in size 6. Again this is very very soft and the bristles are made to absorb quite a lot of water so you're going to get a fairly watery stroke. This one is the Sceptre Gold 101 Sable Windsor & Newton in a size 10. And this one is a little bit more thicker and will put on a little bit more colour intensity than the last one. So there we have it. Those are my favourite brushes at the minute and how I use them. As always, you can follow me on social media for more art updates. 
and I just want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, oh, take me out.